Another report into HPD's suspended cases scandal. Yes, the panel the mayor created to investigate presented a nearly 100-page document with suggested changes. However, none of those pages included a plan to actually implement them with no money nor resources. ABC 13's Liliana Pearson joins us in studio to explain more on this one, Liliana. Well, this report focuses on how to make sure this never happens again. The panel's 17 recommendations telling the department there are needs to be some major overhauls into how the department operates. It just doesn't say how those overhauls will be implemented. The report lays it all out, how the Houston Police Department is managing cases, training their people and communicating with each other. It isn't working. We have a great city. Uh, great people, but we do face challenges. A combination of these factors, we're told, led to a quarter million incident reports being suspended. To prevent a similar scandal, the panel says communication between divisions and training for newly appointed leaders needs to improve. It's not just the hiring of 10 new officers. It's got to be the accurate training of them so we could say they know what they're doing. These seem like straightforward ideas, but getting new training and technology cost money the city doesn't have. There's room to improve there specifically and, and making sure that we are made aware of uh, what is being asked for um, because, you know, we work with, while we may not have the budget ourselves, we work with external uh, partners. The mayor says he's counting on council to work with partners to help find that funding. But as for when any of those new recommendations might go into place preventing future problems, we have no idea. Is, is there some sort of timeline maybe? Uh, There's so no the timeline. Every, time, every time somebody wants me on a timeline, it gets us uh, off the target. Houstonians told to have blind trust in a process that has failed them before. And we also continue to push HPD for updates in their review of suspended cases. But as leadership has continued to change hands, we've been getting fewer and fewer updates. We do know that as of a few weeks ago that there were 1,100 felonies and 63 misdemeanor charges pressed from the quarter million suspended cases. Gina? Way to stay on the story, Liliana. Thank you for that update.